We do not want to deliver another depressing show, and we won't. But if you're looking at the country and thinking, how do we measure the health of the United States? There are pretty obvious ways to do it. The average life expectancy is one, the marriage rate, the effectiveness of the U.S. military, housing costs, the value of the U.S. dollar, the health of the financial markets, the safety of our streets, etc. By every single one of those very basic measures, the Biden administration has failed and done so dramatically. Biden isn't simply incompetent, though obviously he is. Biden is the single most destructive force in the history of the United States. In just a year and a half, Biden and Ron Klain, his strange, shadowy chief of staff, have done more damage to this country than anybody could possibly have imagined. We read the numbers every night, but they don't capture it. You know what captures it? This story. This story comes from the reliably liberal financial news outlet CNBC. Here's the second sentence of the piece. Quote, a rising number of former Californians are migrating out of the country altogether and are instead heading south of the border. Many are seeking a more relaxed and affordable lifestyle in Mexico. Yes, in Mexico, not Switzerland, Mexico. So things are so bad in Joe Biden's America that thousands of Americans are voluntarily moving to a third world country in the middle of a brutal drug war. Hispanics despise Joe Biden, too. Biden's approval rating among Hispanic voters in this country has fallen to 24 percent. That's his lowest among any demographic group. Meanwhile, as of tonight, guess who's the preferred candidate for 2024 among self-described Latinos? That's right. The Taco Bowl guy, Donald J. Trump. Let that sink in for a second. Donald Trump, supposedly the most anti-Hispanic racist this country's ever produced, that man is far more popular among actual Hispanics than a cringing white liberal like Joe Biden. So the guy who tried to build a border wall is loved. Latinos dislike Joe Biden intensely, and they dislike him for the same reason that everybody else does. Biden has made things worse, a lot worse. The median income in this country is $44,000 a year. A year! Imagine trying to live on that right now. Do the math. You couldn't do it, not in any recognizably American way. Inflation is too high. It's making you poorer. Well, today in Philadelphia, Joe Biden unveiled his plan to fix inflation. Now, watch this tape and keep in mind, as you do, that it is real. We've not edited it in any way. Here it is. We can do all this. I'm asking, all I'm asking is for the largest corporations and the wealthiest Americans to begin to pay their fair share in taxes. I'm deadly earnest. Anybody out there think the tax system is fair? Raise your hand. But listen to the message. Higher taxes will make the things that you buy cheaper. That's what Biden just said. Inflation is up because taxes aren't high enough. We've lost control of inflation because people like Joe Biden pushed a species of lunacy called modern monetary theory. They printed an endless torrent of fake money to enrich and empower themselves. And by doing that, they crashed the U.S. dollar and made you much poorer. That's what happened.